for the second part of the tutorial. What we did in the first part was to zero in on the signal frequency in a zero hertz span so that we're now seeing the signal in the time domain. Now that we're watching the signal in the time domain, we're going to go to sweep. And right now we have a one millisecond sweep time. We're gonna use the up arrow here and we're gonna make the sweep longer. We keep hitting the up arrow. We're switching here 10 milliseconds, 20, 100 milliseconds. Let's go to 10 seconds. And keep hitting it, two, three, five, seven and a half, and 10 seconds. Here's the 10 second sweep time. Now we're seeing the signal over a long period of time with a peak detector. In this particular case, we're seeing so much signal that we actually need to bring our reference level up, meaning bring the signal down. So what we're going to do for this particular signal, you may not need to do this with your uh, signal at McMurdo, is go to the amplitude button and go to attenuate, uh, sorry, amplitude, and then go to signal path and we'll turn off that preamplifier. We're gonna to toggle the preamp off. And now we're going to go back to the amplitude button again, and we go to reference level, and we make the reference level higher. Just hit the up arrow until the reference level here, which now says minus 20 dBm, it was 40 before, is as high as it'll go. So you can keep hitting the button and it won't go above minus 20, that's fine. So now we have our signal framed and now we're watching the signal in the time domain over 10 seconds. And what we're seeing here is an airport surveillance radar in this particular case. This will not be your signal at McMurdo. At this point, we will do a recording of the signal. I'm gonna cover that in the next little tutorial. Having seen the signal on the long time span and recorded it, again, that'll be the third tutorial, next tutorial, we now will speed up the sweep. We're gonna shorten the sweep time. Instead of 10 seconds, we're going to bring it down here to more like, we'll say 300 milliseconds. And then we're going to go to the single continuous button over here on the right, single continuous, hit this, and now you're in sweep single mode. And if you want to record that, go ahead and record that. If you want to get another one, just toggle the single continuous button and get another picture of it at 300 milliseconds. Maybe even do it a third time. Every time you hit the single continuous button, you'll get another update. Now, at this point, let's go back to the sweep time and let's make the sweep time uh, 100 milliseconds. And now we hit the single continuous button and again, when you get a picture that you like, go ahead and record that. And now finally go to sweep time, we'll say 20 milliseconds in this particular case, and hit the single continuous button. And now, by the way, we're seeing the individual pulses coming out of the airport surveillance radar. So you can go ahead and record any of those that you like. What you've done at this point is you have identified the center frequency of the transmitter, which by the way, going way back, is 2,825 uh, megahertz, 2.825 gigahertz. You have identified its long-term signal structure in time and its short-term signal structure in time. And if, uh, if you want to, you can also at this point go back to sweep time and then hit sweep time and uh, make it uh, 10 seconds again, like so and then hit sweep continuous. Here's your sweep continuous toggle, continuous. And now what you can do is you can direction find with a directional antenna while you're watching this signal in time. So here's the level with your antenna pointed in some direction. Now you can move your antenna to other directions and see whether that signal power level goes up or down as you move your antenna back and forth. And that's how you can direction find. So again, you now have the signal frequency, you have the signal's long-term behavior, you have the signal's fine structure behavior in time, and you can direction find on the signal. That ends tutorial number two.